welcome to the podcast for when the curves line up for September 22nd, 2023. Please see the article that includes diagrams of today's events on the website. Text by Jeffrey L. Hunt. In Chicago, sunrise occurs at 6.38 a.m. Central Daylight Time followed by sunset at 6.48 p.m. Today, the sun is in the sky for 12 hours, 10 minutes. The autumnal equinox occurs at 1.50 a.m. CDT tomorrow morning. At this moment, the sun is at longitude 180 degrees along the ecliptic, that is, 180 degrees from the origin of the coordinate system that is the vernal equinox, the sun's location on the first day of spring in the northern hemisphere. At the moment of the equinox, the sun appears to be on the celestial equator, a circle in the sky directly above Earth's equator. Because of the definition of sunrise and sunset and the bending of light when the sun is near the horizon, daylight and nighttime are not equal tomorrow. September 25th and 26th are the days when the 24-hour day is almost, within a minute, equal between sunlight and nighttime. The moon is at its first quarter phase at 2.32 p.m. CDT. From Chicago, the moon rises nearly 10 minutes later. Here is today's planet forecast. In the morning sky, Mercury is at its largest separation from the sun today, known as greatest elongation. Geometrically, Earth is at the vertex of an angle that extends from the sun to Mercury. The angle measures 17.9 degrees. This value is about 10 degrees smaller than the planet's largest value. Mercury's orbit is highly elliptical and this morning the planet is near perihelion, the closest point to the sun. The planet's location in the sky is highly favorable because of the high angle the plane of the solar system makes with the horizon. The planet's best morning views occur during the autumn season from this favorable angle. While Mercury is at its best, it is low in the eastern sky. An hour before sunrise, the speedy planet is over 5 degrees above the horizon and 11.2 degrees to the lower left of Regulus. Mercury is fairly bright, although dimmer than Venus, Sirius, and Jupiter. Find a clear eastern horizon and locate the planet. As Mercury begins to retreat back into the sun's glare, it continues to brighten. At this hour, brilliant Venus is over 25 degrees above the eastern horizon and 13.1 degrees to the upper right of Regulus. The morning star is stepping eastward, passing the star October 9th. Watch this gap close on each clear morning. Notice Sirius in the southeast, at about the same altitude, height above the horizon, as Venus and about 40 degrees to the right of the planet. Procyon, the little dog star, is above an imaginary line from Venus to Sirius. At this hour, bright Jupiter is high in the southwest. It is retrograding in front of Aries, approaching an imaginary line from Hamel, the ram's brightest star, and Menkar, the sea monster's nostril. The Jovian giant appears to move westward compared to the starfield. This is an illusion as our world approaches and passes between a distant solar system body and the sun. Look again for Mercury to see it slightly higher in the sky as twilight continues. In the evening sky, dim Mars is slowly sliding into bright evening twilight heading toward its solar conjunction during November. The planet sets about 40 minutes after nightfall. An hour after sundown, the slightly gibbous moon, 52% illuminated, is about 20 degrees up in the south-southwest. It is above the spout of the teapot, a modern moniker for Sagittarius. The lunar orb is 1.5 degrees to the upper left of al Nassil, the point of the Sagittarian's arrow. Use a binocular to see the star field with the moon. Farther eastward, Saturn is nearly 20 degrees above the southeast horizon, 9.7 degrees to the upper right of Skate, meaning the leg, and 10.1 degrees to the upper right of Lambda Aquarii. The planet continues to retrograde. The ringed wonder is south before midnight and sets in the west-southwest nearly three hours before sunrise tomorrow morning. Bright Jupiter rises less than two hours after sundown. By midnight it is over 30 degrees up in the east-southeast. Tomorrow morning it is again high in the southwestern sky. 
Thank you for listening. Please read the articles at whenthecurveslineup.com.